Our final top story is one of hope, strength, and perseverance. The Greater Milford Relay for Life was held over a two-day period at Milford High School last Friday and Saturday. The event, which was just one of many relays that take place nationwide every year, is geared toward raising awareness about cancer and raising funds towards researching a cure. This year, despite some questionable weather, local residents came out in tremendous numbers to share stories of loss or stories of survival, all while teams walked the track for 18 straight hours. Our Liz McGaw captured some of the great footage from the event and spoke to the Relay's two co-chairs. Here is the full story. For the last 16 years, Milfordians have set aside their time, effort, and hard-earned money to participate in the town's annual Relay for Life. The event spans two days as teams take to the Milford High School track and walk for 18 straight hours as a way to remember loved ones who have lost the battle to cancer or honor those who are continuing the fight. For Susan Harvey and Bernadette Medeiros, the co-chairs of the Milford Relay for Life, this yearly event takes on an intensely personal feel. I just wanted to say a couple of words about um, why I relay. And usually I get up here and tell everybody that my mom has passed away from cancer in 1982. I was 23 years old and it was heartbreaking and every day I miss my mom. But when I really think about it, I obviously relay for my mom and I started this relay 16 years ago in Milford for that reason, but I had um, so many other reasons to relay. Um, my aunt ha um, passed away from cancer, my friend Ray Herx passed away, my friend Tracy Smith passed away, Susan O'Brien, these are all people that were very involved in the relay and just knew that we were going to continue this and so we're doing that for all of them as well. My reason to relay is I was eight years old um, and I lost my sister who was 24 years old to uh, skin cancer. So back then, no clue what it was. 20 so odd years later, you know, friends and family, nobody really knew what the C word was. I have a sister approximately four years ago who actually had skin cancer and is surviving today because of all of the advancement in the technology that people like you have helped raise that money to go for. So I just wanna thank you all from the bottom of my heart because without you, I wouldn't have another sister as a survivor. Susan and Bernadette are certainly not the only participants in the Relay for Life who have seen the devastating effects of cancer in their own lives. Raising awareness and funds to fight this disease is an important cause to all who participate. My name is Helen and I am a ovarian cancer survivor for 14 years. They had no hope for me. So I did it, what they call a research study at Beth Israel. The doctors told me there was no hope and they wanted to make sure that I would survive this. And I did. It's very, very aggressive chemo. It was three bags of chemo in one sitting and another two in another sitting. And I did that for four months. I naturally was sick, but that's part of the chemotherapy. With the support of all you people out here, this is gonna help us very much for a lot of research studies. So I wanna thank you so much. This was the 16th year Milford successfully completed a Relay for Life event, and Susan has been an instrumental force in each and every relay since its inception. I was actually chairing the Daffodil campaign that they do and the staff partner at the time said did I want to do this relay and I said nobody in Milford's going to do a relay and um, walk 18 hours. Actually at that time it was 24 hours so I'm like nobody's going to walk 24 hours. So I just put letters in my neighbor's mailboxes to see if anybody would come and it started with me and a staff person and about four to six committee members. So it was a lot of work, but it was fun. The first year we had it gold at 30 teams and $30,000, figuring each team could raise $1,000, and we had um, 22 teams and we made 32000 After the opening ceremony, the relay officially kicked off with cancer survivors coming together to walk the opening lap around the track. The continued sighting of familiar faces during this portion of the event is proof that the efforts put forth to fund cancer research are having a profound impact on people's lives. The survivors were still here. Some of the survivors that were here 16 years ago are still here now. And that's just awesome to see that, you know, we've come so far that that's, you know, there are people still here and things like that. Another highlight of the two-day event is the Luminaria Ceremony. 
The two co-chairs for the relay say that it is a moment that will stay with you long after the relay has come to an end. I do tell people that if they're thinking about coming or they don't or they don't know if um, they want to get involved, if they come and they see the luminaria ceremony, which is at 9 o'clock, and all the lights get shut off at 9 o'clock, and we have bags that are lit, and every bag has a name on it, and each name is somebody who's either passed away from cancer or is battling cancer now or has survived cancer and is cancer-free, um, each bag has a name on it. And when you see all the lights go off and every single bag is lit with those names on it, it's just it's heartbreaking. That's what actually got me started with Relay 14 years ago. I went to a luminaria ceremony. I haven't looked back since. It's just very, it's extremely emotional and it's inspirational at the same time. The Greater Milford Relay for Life set an ambitious goal of $100,000 for the final total of funds raised this year. Even before the first steps were taken on the track, Bernadette was happy to see they were already well on their way to meeting that goal. Right now online we have 444 people that are actually registered, so probably at least another 100 people on top of that. Right now we're at about um, 57,000, so we're hoping to get at least another 20 to 40,000 tonight um, because we do the on-site fundraising as well and then we can actually still collect money up until August 31st. Relay for Life is a party with a good cause and so just come down, have a good time. That's what we're here for. We're here to have everybody in a safe, fun environment, but to do a good thing.